Ignacio. Hello there, back again with another video on enumerate all the things. Here today we're gonna discuss more about uh, different service, which is nothing but MySQL. MySQL by default run or executes on port number three three zero six. By default means uh, if it is not configured specifically, it will be on this specific port. However, it can be changed later on, right? Post configuration. So yeah let's dig in we'll go with the first and of course the foremost nmap nmap has multiple nse scripts for the same which we will gonna utilize so what i'm gonna do instead going with just audit brute or any single we'll go with the wildcard wildcard makes it easier easier though right so nmap hyphen p port number by default as we already aware it's 3306 Hyphen S V just to uh, tell my nmap that uh, validate the service version first, and of course hyphen hyphen script equals to my SQL, and I'll add this wildcard, right? What this wildcard will gonna do is it will gonna include every MySQL script, and dollar target Linux should be good. Let's wait till this uh, scan finish and once it is done, we'll resume back. All right, scan has been succeed and we have some information. It says that this is the MySQL with the specific version. Uh, we can even search for possible exploit. This is the vulnerable version what I'm aware of. And if you just do search exploit, and the version you have you'll find multiple exploits you can give it a try exploit it and good to go but right now this is not exploitation part and we'll just focus on tool and enumeration against the specific services so yeah there's something it validates uh somewhere if it fails it shows that error it says no valid account found uh it did basic valid account enumeration and failed also, it detects some more information, exact version information, which it already displayed here. So, nothing much, nothing special, but it just overall finds the information, right? Those information can be later on used for other purposes, but this is all it, right? The second, if you have found any uh, credential or something, then you can validate those with the MySQL service and of course we know the tool name right it's hydra hyphen capital l if you have a username list so yeah i do have username list hyphen capital p for the password list password list and the service name so it's a mysql colon slash slash and target linux right that is it let's give it an enter Based on what the uh, username and password list you have, it will gonna take some time. And also the server uh, configuration. So my server configuration is not well enough. Basically RAM and processor and all things. But due to which it is taking little, little extra time. But else it should work quite fast. Okay, still running. We have our first credential, which is root and bug, of course. It will take some time, so let's just uh, continue with whatever we have. So I'll hit Control C. I can later on use Hydra hyphen R to resume from the last, of course. But I don't really wish to go with that. Right now, we let's assume that you got a credential for the MySQL service, username and password. What else enumeration can be done against your victim, right? If it is something root, then consider that you'll have the maximum privileges. If you don't have this root account here, but still you'll have some extra privileges that you must understand or you must be aware or validate against your destination server. 
which is mysql server of course so let's give it a try how we can connect to this mysql server is it simple mysql uh whatever the username you have root hyphen p is not for the password here it is for the database name if you know if you are not aware let's just keep it as it is hyphen h for the destination host i'll gonna specify my target linux which is my destination linux of course and yep whatever the password we found i know that bug is a password and we should be in okay so whenever you let's assume that you got a credential to mysql you connected to mysql and later on you can do n number of things like a lot there are plenty of ways to get rc from this mysql services but that is designed for the exploitation part right now let's just enumerate further things what are the things you can further of course you can type show databases in order to get all the list of databases here I have information schema, BWAP, and a couple other. MySQL is something which is good for enumeration because it may contain other user hashes, passwords, and some more information that can be useful, right? Of course, other databases can be helpful, but right now we will be focusing on the least uh, information discovery. Okay, so let's check. I'll say use MySQL database has been changed to so tables in order to display all the different tables i will be focused on users so let's say select star from users mm, it's a user not the user there's a small typo and here we go uh, we have some hashes which we can give it a try to crack of course we will not going to do with that but here we have some information that is something that will be helpful for our exploitation part let's assume that you got a credential you you managed to access this mysql and something here can give you the rce right and the first thing is of course privileges privileges what type of privilege uh, basically there is a privilege name file priv. what i'm gonna do instead listing all i'll say select uh first uh, user i believe though yes user comma file privileges from the user user is a table user and file priv is nothing but columns so from the user table i want user and file privilege I hit enter it says that for my current user which is root i have the file privileges that is plus sign that is good second again the third one yes root all the users basically have this file privileges this is something sensitive what can be done through this a lot of things so you can read files you can write your files you can write your malwares and whatnot give it let's let's give it a try so oh, select a basic command select uh, from load underscore file i don't really think this from required i'm gonna add slash etc slash password or sorry pass wd and should be good what i'm going to say here is uh, hey mysql i want you to select a function output whatever is there the function name is load file that will going to load any server internal file right and the path i have specified etc pass wd let's hit enter and here we go we have our of course the pass wd file from the destination server you can you can you can simply uh, keep it and make it any like host and all the things but there is a limitation here you cannot you cannot read files that are owned by root or that are only accessible for the root account right for example if i'm trying this uh, shadow right it will fail because that shadow file should only allow root user to have access on right 
not other users can have access so my sql runs on its own daemon i am connected to root account but that is my sql root account not the process root account right not the server root account so that is it that is all again a quick repeat you can validate your file privileges by just typing select file priv if you want to add user you can add a user comma file priv from the user if it says yes you are good to go so this is something first way through which you can gain or uh, get your initial uh, shell access on the box there are a couple other ways that we will going to discuss but it is not something good for the current state once we are at the stage uh, where we, are, we will be aware we will aware of some concepts that time will be focusing more on it so that is it that is all for today of course see you in the next hope you like hope you enjoy and learn something new